Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. 3D printing is continuing to gain in popularity. 3D printers are getting more capable and their price points are getting cheaper and cheaper all the time. Combine that with applications like Fusion 360 that let virtually anybody get started with uh, creating models that can be 3D printed. And you can see that this trend is just gonna continue to grow. So another thing I wanna talk about is directly from within Fusion 360, we can drive a 3D printer from the manufacturing environment. I'm not gonna show that in this video. The purpose of this video is to show how we can get solid files from Fusion 360 into an external slicer like Mesh Mixer or Kira or Simplify 3D or whatever it is that you may be using. So on my screen, I have uh, something that I've designed for tutorial. And the goal of this is I want to print the yellow bracket part. There's a couple different ways that I can get a needed STL file to do that. And so the first way is more of a manual way. I'm gonna go to the bracket. I'm gonna expand this out. I'm gonna expand out the bodies. I'm gonna right click on this body and choose save as STL. Uh, now I can tell it what refinement I want and um, some different refinement options. I could even send it to a 3D print utility, which is what I'm going to show you just in a minute in a different way. I can go ahead and hit OK. I'll just save this as body.stl again. You can name it whatever you want and hit replace. And now Fusion created an STL file for me. An alternate way that you can do this is to go to the Tools tab. And on the Tools tab, you will find a 3D print option. So in the 3D print option, it's kind of going to kind of work the same way. I can click on this yellow bracket part. I can choose my refinement, some refinement options here. Um, and I can also choose to send this to a 3D print utility. So if I check this box, in this case, I'm gonna say I wanna send this to Kira, but there's some other built-in applications. And the last thing we're gonna do is look how you can specify your own. So right now I've got this set to go to Kira. So if I were to manually create the STL file, what I have to do is export that, then I open up my 3D slicing software like Kira, and I import that file in. By using this uh, option to output it, it saves us a little bit of a step. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. And now what happened in the background is Fusion transferred that file into Kira, which I have running. So let's just go ahead and hop over into Kira, and there you can see my bracket has opened up inside Akira and it's already being sliced and it's ready to do whatever I have to do to it. Okay, so let's hop back over into Fusion. So I'm gonna come back over into Fusion and I said that you can also specify your own 3D printing utility. So let's do a 3D print again. And this time I'm gonna choose, I wanna do a custom instead. So I'm gonna browse here and I wanna go and browse to my applications folder. And inside of here, I should have a, um, simplify 3d application that i can go and find so there's my simplify 3d i'm going to go ahead and click on that and choose open and now when i choose on my yellow part and i hit ok what should happen is that simplify 3d is going to open this time instead it's going to be launched in the background and there you can see that my part dumps in there so this is just a way you can shortcut creating your 3D prints without having to export and import into your favorite slicing software. You can simply specify the slicing software you want to use, and Fusion can directly transfer your component or components, however many you choose, into your slicing software of choice. Hopefully this is a helpful, quick little tip. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.